I don't think I've, I've ever had a chance to ask you about your experience with Boston. And as you look back on that, you know, what does that experience mean to you? I mean, you won an, M an NBA championship ring in, in that experience. And I'm sure it, it probably helped mold who you are as a coach and a competitor. All those experiences, I think, were really, really important. And, and like you say, it, every experience that you have, I think, helps. It, it'll mold you in one way or the other, you know, but, but it, it, it does have an impact on, on what happens. And, and I think for me during that experience, it, was, it wasn't always the easiest thing in the world because, you know, I, at, at that point in my life is the first time I ever had to deal with the fact that I wasn't one of the main guys. I didn't get to play a lot. Um, so it was, it was a tough role reversal for me. And it was honestly, it, was, it wasn't an easy thing to, to, to handle. Um, but it was very, I think, educational for me because what it gave me, even though at the time it kind of stunk and, and it wasn't a lot of fun at times, but looking back on it, what it did was it, I think it really rounded out my experience. And, and I can honestly say <clears throat> that when I talk to, to my players now that it doesn't matter who I'm talking to, I've been where every one of those kids has been sitting or standing. You know, I've, I've been the, the star of the team. I've been the role player on the team. I've been the person on the team that sits more than they play, you know, and I've been, I've been all those people. So I, I think that has really helped me, I think, in, in relating to, to all of the kids. I think empathy and, and understanding where everybody's at, I think, has been helpful. Pretty cool to play with Larry Bird, too, right? It was it was amazing experience and 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 him and Tiny Archibald and and uh, you know all those guys, um, you know it, it's hard to describe and I, I wish you know you hear people say all the time that like youth is wasted on the young, and and at the time looking back on it I, I wish I wasn't so young that I was just I was just going through it, um, it doesn't hit you at that time that okay I was actually like there with all of these people that are now in the basketball hall of fame and around all these famous people at the time you're just trying to survive from day to day you know but it's kind of cool to look back and you know go yeah you know i was i was sitting there and i heard that and i saw this and and so it was it was it was a really great experience there's no question i was very very lucky i look at at these you know sometimes i, I watch some of the nba games and i I listened to these Hall of Famers that never won a championship, never were a part of that. And I'm going here. I was just there for a year, hardly played. And, you know, I've got something that this guy would have killed for and, and never got, probably would have traded millions of his dollars, you know, for the experience to, to shift. And so I was very fortunate and very lucky. And how many years in, in pro basketball? Uh, one there, two in the CBA, one overseas in Australia. So I, I played four. Um, and then at that point, I, I was getting to a point where I kind of realized at that point, I'm not going to get rich doing this. Um, and I thought at some point I'm going to have to start something, you know, with a career attached to it. And that's kind of when I got into education, really. And I never asked you how you got into volleyball. Well, we, we had high school volleyball in Wisconsin, so I played it in high school and then obviously played basketball in college. But I just I kept playing. Uh, so at the end of every basketball season, I would then start playing volleyball in the spring. Even, even you know, when I was in the CBA, Boston, you know, Australia in the off season, I would still play with guys. So my first full-time job was in, at Central Decatur High School in Leon, Iowa. I was coaching boys basketball and girls volleyball. Having grown up here in Columbia, I really don't want people to forget about those national championships at, at Columbia College. I don't know how, how you feel about it, but how much looking back on it did that help volleyball in Columbia, in the state of Missouri, as you guys kind of took that momentum, brought it here, and, and kind of away you've gone. You know, things fell into place, you know, and uh, we were in the right place at the right time. And I think you combine that with, you know, it's the old, you know, it seems like the harder I work, the luckier I get kind of thing. And so I think, but it, but it was, you know, looking back on it, it's, pre it's pretty special. And I, I've told kids, you know, you hear this all the time, but winning in anything at any level is, is hard. And so when things like that happen, uh, I think it's important to, to not dwell on it too long. But at the same time, you know, you look at how many things have to fall into place for that kind of thing to happen. It, it, you know, we were pretty fortunate and uh, pretty lucky.
you and Susan ever kind of shake your head at the family and how much athletic success has come with the Kreklo name? You know, actually not really. <laughs> um, it seems like there's always way too many things going on to actually do that. Maybe someday when we're old and sitting in rocking chairs and retired, but I, I do sometimes, you know, I'm very thankful uh, for everything that, that uh, you know, that, that's happened to us. And, and I do think my message to, to our kids, you know, coming through too is, is I think our, our approach has always been, I think, we've never really focused on any of that stuff. I think our approach has always been that, you know, just every day we're just going to try to do the best that we can. We're going to work as hard as we can and, and bring our best every day. And then whatever kind of happens, happens. And I, and I think if you, if you kind of let go of all that other stuff, um, often you end up getting all that other stuff anyway you know and i think too many people get too focused on the end game and you know all the things at the end rather than just what we're doing right now and, and um, you know I, I, it just seems like our that approach has worked well for us anyway so we'll just keep trying to do that and be consistent